Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, nutrition, well-being, and amazing people. Today I'm joined by the amazing and lovely Sarah Sampaio, who is a certified makeup artist as well as an esthetician and owner of Sarah's Skin Spa. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you, Linda. Thanks for having me on. Oh, no problem. So how did you get all involved with being an esthetician and uh, a makeup artist? I've, I've always had a love for skin and a love for makeup and color. And most important, I've always had a love for really bringing that to women and right. having them experience from the makeup, the skin, and so forth. And I started um, with being an esthetician and I went to school back in 2013 while my son was sick and yeah. I um, cared for him during the day and I figured that in the evening um, I would go to school and because I had to um, leave my job to care for my son and in the evening I had an, a time to start on a new adventure. Mm -hmm. So I barked on this awesome adventure back in 2013 mm -hmm. and it's been great ever since. And wonderful. And you work in all all different abilities as certified makeup artist. You were telling me that you were just at a show and you did uh, the genre monologues last night. I did. Um, you're very versatile. Yeah. And today I had a blank uh, blank uh, canvas. You did. And you used your phenomenal makeup and foundation for me. It looks wonderful. Thank you. Um, in terms of uh, tips as we get older as women, we need tips about our skin and I know you're phenomenal in terms right. I saw you at a lovely retreat coach glows retreat and I was amazed at all you told us mm -hmm. and the knowledge you had for such a, a young lady yeah. and um, I said I have to have her on the show so that what tips do you recommend yeah that was a really great um, event um, that I was able to be part of and that's how I met you so in the aging process, I feel mm -hmm. like we're aging by the second, right. um, and we lose collagen production um, a third of a teaspoon every year. Wonderful. So we need to um, <laughs> continue to keep the uh, skin um, on task to produce collagen um, on a daily basis, but most importantly, through the winter, we really need to keep our skin hydrated. And I'm sure that everybody uh, has is experiencing the dryness mm -hmm. on their skin. And there's sure. a couple of things that you can do to help that and improve the hydration of the skin uh -huh. on just everyday tips that you can use in your own home. Uh -huh. And part of it, one of them would be when you're showering in the morning, uh, just to, um, instead of using very hot water, because we're cold and we want to, right. we want to use lukewarm water okay. in showering and washing the face and the whole skin, because our skin is our largest organ. Right. So we want to be very careful and take care of it. Mm -hmm. So that would be one. Uh -huh. Number two, we want to exfoliate. Even though we have dry skin, right. we're like, oh, if I exfoliate, I'm going to get drier. Really not. If you're exfoliating properly, and if you're using the correct products for your skin type, then mm -hmm. you're really mm -hmm. only helping and keeping the skin on target mm -hmm. and you're exfoliating all the dead cells that are on top mm -hmm. and removing them. And there's two types of exfoliation techniques. You can have a mechanical exfoliation or you can have a chemical exfoliation and that's really based on the product. Right. So a mechanical um, exfoliation is going to have a microsphere um, beads are the best because they're, um, they're round and they're not abrasive. Right. And those are really great in the, in the product that you're using right. to exfoliate. And you'd want to exfoliate once to twice a week. If you find that twice is too much, then you break it down and you only do once. Right. And you want right. to do, usually I try to create habitual mm -hmm. um, habits for people because mm -hmm. we tend to stick to our schedules. Mm -hmm. So I say once a week, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. do it on a Tuesday. And if you're doing it twice a week, you would do it on a Tuesday and say, a, a Friday, you mm. know, and you do it consistently enough, sure. then it becomes a habit and you're going to continue on doing that until right. you create a new habit. And there's also chemical sense, uh, chemical exfoliants, mm -hmm. and those mm -hmm. are either lactic, glycolic, malic, and those are put into your exfoliation and you, those are also used for 
um, removing dead cells in your exfoliant. You, you know a great deal, Sarah. They say about water. Um, water. I drink about 80 ounces, 85 ounces a day. And you, you, you agree? I totally agree with that. And the fact that you do that, it's above and beyond. I meet so many women be, and that are not drinking a lot of water. And I think that if you do drink water, because mm -hmm. our skin holds 64% of water, so right. if we're not drinking that, and sometimes myself, I have to be honest, sure. I'm going, going, and I forget to drink water. Right. Right. So um, I always encourage people to carry a water bottle with, That's right. I like the big ones. Sure. Because the 32, Very yeah, yeah, the 32 ounce bottle, sure. uh, you probably saw me carrying it in. Um, because if you have that, right. then you're not going to forget to drink water. That's correct. But if you right. don't pack that right. in the morning, again, another habit, right, sure. that we have to get used to. And I like to drink eight ounces of water right in the morning as that's you right. get up before you have your coffee. No, that's right. Um, and it is the very best to do. Right. As and soon then, as you wake up. As soon as you wake up. Yeah. And then you drink water throughout the day. It's really, really important. Mm -hmm. You need that hydration. You need to your body to keep hydrated for the whole day. And I heard that you need actually more water in the winter even than the summer with the radiators and dry heat and... Uh, yeah, and the temperatures of your homes, you know, right. that will... The temperatures of your home are, are definitely suffice to dehydrate Yes, you. they yeah. do dehydrate your skin. Lips, I mean, sure. everybody's walking around with cracked lips and right. they're in hot water, they're in hot heat, they're in right. and out of the cold weather. And that's another um, component that really um, with the dry skin, it's another component um, that impedes the dry skin. Sure it so does. So whether you're in sun exposure, right. whether you're in cold weather, right. um, the aging process. Sure. So we really have to keep the skin and the body tricked all the time mm -hmm. um, to not um, have that dry skin. To try to be hydrophilic, meaning water, to. attracting water. You always right? have to. Yeah. In the, you know, and it's very important that in your routines, that, you know, your summer routine is going to be different than your winter routine. Mm -hmm. So you want to um, have a your moisturizers and your exfoliants and your um, right. cleansers. You really have to be careful on what you're using throughout the seasons. Yeah. So you use the exfoliant twice a week and then moisturizer you use how many times oh, a day? Oh, well, you have to moisturize every day, every day okay. morning and night. Okay. Um, you, couple simple steps to taking care of your skin is mm -hmm. you if you had did nothing else and mm -hmm. you did these three things right you want to um, cleanse your skin every morning okay. and every night okay um, you want to tone your skin because you once you wash your skin your pH level is off so you right. want to bring your pH level back to normal uh -huh. so you use a toner right and then you want to moisturize mm -hmm. every morning and night whether you're having serums in um, the morning and also at night, also very important. But if you right. did nothing else, right. those three components um, would be what you'd want to start with. And when I'm working with my clients, I'm really encouraging them simple, habitual, um, everyday three steps. Mm -hmm. And then we add as we go. You know, there's people who are, you know, they're busy. Life is busy. And sure. taking care of your skin isn't usually number one priority for most people. So if you create daily habits that are simple, they're gonna really follow through. And then once you have those daily habits, adding a serum in the morning and adding a serum in the evening is going right. to be is easy because they're already doing the three essential things. Um, the, the That's moist, wonderful. Yeah, so. The exfoliating, but every morning the cleansing. The cleansing, the, the toning. toning. And the moisturizer. And the moisturizer. And then Three also great steps. in the morning, uh -huh. um, you have to use SPF. Okay. Have to every day, whether it's a cloudy day, whether it's a sunny day. We drive every day and the rays are out there. We right. want to be using sunscreen every day. I right. see a lot of skin damage from uh, just, not, just not doing that. What are some great foods that you would recommend in oh, terms of skin? Right. It's, you know, you really have to, I believe in the beauty from the inside out. So yeah. what you eat is what you are, right? So And, and that's who you are, yeah. Sarah. Beautiful I, on the inside as oh, well as out. thank you. <laughs> um, strawberries, for strawberries. instance. Yeah. Um, they're a great antioxidant, great for anti-aging. Right. They have um, a vitamin C. High in vitamin C. Very high in vitamin C. Absolutely. Um, more so than your typical orange and grapefruit. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then also right. almonds. Sure. Almonds are great. Right. Broccoli. Right. Great avocado. antioxidant. Great antioxidants. Yeah. They're all great antioxidants. Vitamin C, vitamin right. E. You want to eat really healthy um, 
foods and eat a lot of vegetables and eat a lot of fruit. They have a lot of water as well. Sure. So it's going to keep you and, hydrated. And uh, omega-3 fatty acids, Absolutely. which are the uh, wonderful the oils for yeah. moisture. Yeah. So they'll... Um, right. Salmon, sardines. Oh, great foods They're for the great skin. Great foods. And you know what's amazing um, about you when I first met you is that in countless in, in TV productions and being on TV, mm -hmm. it's so hard to find and the, it's overwhelming to find a foundation that is works. Yes. And I see that you make one's customized design based on your expertise as a certified makeup artist for each and every individual. And you made one today. I did. And this it's, is, yeah, this is one of my loves because as a makeup artist and right. as a woman, right. like forget everything else. Sure. Foundation and having the right base is so key. It's it is. so important. Sure. I bump into countless women who say, you know, my foundation doesn't match. Sure. I, you know, I many times have, it's happened to me. So many. It's sure. either too dark, it's either too light or right. too orange or so forth and so on. So the beauty of customizing your foundation when you um, have it, it is the way you want it. Mm -hmm. Whether you want it to be a sheer or tinted moisturizer mm -hmm. or whether you want it to have medium coverage right. or full coverage. Very um, vital. Or exactly, you sure. want to tint it SPF. Sure. That, you know, you can have whatever you'd like when it comes to foundation. It's wonderful. So um, I really look at your skin. Mm -hmm. I ask you questions, mm -hmm. you know, do you want SPF in your foundation? Do you want it sheer, medium coverage, full right. coverage? So it's really up right. to you and what sure. you want to, and what feels good on you. Sure. And then once we go through um, you, the surveys and the questions, then mm -hmm. I really look at what I have and then customize it. So I, that's exactly what I did today. I know you did. I um, asked you a couple of questions. Sure. I also know that you don't like a lot of makeup and you want to... I don't. You don't. I, I'm not a big... And the, all thing, the other thing you do use through your expertise is being able to analyze and evaluate the pigment, the exactly. shade, the tone in terms of light, medium, or darker. Exactly. I um, add all the which tones. Which becomes really, really important. Very important. Um, and that's wonderful. In addition, you also custom design list, lipsticks. I do. Yeah. So we're, we have about two minutes in terms of summing up. Um, is there anything last that you'd want to share with my viewers? Um, I know that you have this phenomenal skin spa. Yes. And it's uh, in this wonderful place. So I did. I just opened Sarah's Skin Spa in Terrytown in this beautiful building. It's called the Muller House. It's this gorgeous estate. And when you walk in, you just feel like it's so peaceful and welcoming and you um, I offer all sorts of um, skin services um, from facials to peels and so forth and so on and um, it's just serenity there yeah it's and a uh, beautiful, beautiful beautiful location yeah, I can't you. wait to come and you're uh, for such a young lady you have phenomenal knowledge base and oh, expertise and it's wonderful having you on today. Thank, thank you. I you really appreciate you so having much me for on. Being here. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Remember, when you feel great, eat wonderful foods. It's something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember, moderation and balance are key. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you to my amazing crew today. Have a good night. Thank you.